this out. The state of New York may require drivers involved in accidents to submit their phones to the software Textalizer that will bus drivers for texting and driving. And listen to what Judge Andrew Napolitano said on our program yesterday. It, it wouldn't surprise me if it is found constitutional on the theory that when you accept your driver's license, just as you consent to let them measure your blood alcohol content through your breath, you consent to have them look at this. Where will this consent go to next? What else will they be able to take away from us against our will? It is profoundly wrong. It's just a stunt to make it easier for the police to prosecute. But, but yeah, but if that person texting is, you know, could conceivably kill you because they're texting, we'll see. Now, look who's joining us here. Come on in, James Grady, Celebrite CEO. This is the company behind Textilizer. And James, thanks for being here. Let me, why don't you respond to what the judge said there? He, he believes constitutionally it probably would stand up, although he's not happy about it. Sure, sure. We, we talk to privacy advocates about how this works. And what we, when we have that conversation, normally what we find is when we explain to them that we actually don't take any data off the phone about who you were texting to or what you were saying in those texts, but right. only the, the uh, operating system logs that show you were touching the phone. That's the only thing that's necessary. And we take no data off the phone, they get a lot more comfortable. I think that's how when the legislature crafted the law, they work with private, privacy advocates to make it work. So how does this work? It's a handheld thing that a police officer could have and at the scene of the accident could take the driver's phone and do what? Exactly. So what they would do is the, the uh, police would let the driver continue to hold their own phone and ask them okay. to unlock it and they would just put the cable in and then it would in about 90 seconds read whether there was activity on the screen of texting or messaging. At a particular at a, time? At a particular time. Uh, when did you come up with this? How did this all come about? Ben Lieberman reached out to us and told us the sad story of his son who was killed in an accident of a, a distracted mm. driver. And we said, we think we might be able to do something about that. So as we researched it and looked into it, we realized we could. We could detect texting without taking data off the phone. That's pretty amazing. So is it already being used? We, we talk about New York may, you right. know, bring it in. Uh, is it being used somewhere right no, now? No, it's not, it's not a product yet. We're waiting to see the final version of the law, and then we'll finalize the product in six months or so after the law is, is finalized. So the technology is there, but the actual product has not been... Sure. Built. Celebrite's core business is to work with police and forensic data. Mm -hmm. So what we do with cell phones is when there's a, a crime against children, a, number, a range of horrific crimes, and police get a search warrant, mm. To, to get a suspect's phone, we can retrieve the data, the evidence of those crimes off the phone. Hmm. Very I, different application. I see a lot of people texting me, I'm sorry. It's mm -hmm. very dangerous because your attention, and in this world we all look down at our phones all the time, yeah. driving, it's very, very dangerous. Yeah, there's some data that shows it's three times more dangerous than driving while intoxicating. Is that intoxicating. right? Wow. Yes. The, yet 85% of adult Americans admit that they do it. That's, God, that's, it's, it's frightening, isn't it? Right. You know, I drive, and, and I'm always keeping an eye out for people drifting. Um, yeah, very interesting stuff. You have to yeah. come back if you, if you wouldn't mind tell us. Once, once if, if this all goes through constitutionally and laws are put in place, it would be very interesting to see how effective it is. We'd be happy to. All right, James, thank you very much. Appreciate it.